It sounds like something Q would have fashioned for James Bond. A Toronto tailor has created a bulletproof suit. It's marketed as both stylish and safe, but at a cost of $20,000, is the protection really worth the price? Christina Stevens has the story. A shooting range isn't exactly a typical place to unveil the latest fashion creation by a high-end tailor. But then this isn't your typical suit. This one is bulletproof. About six months ago, actually, one of our clients was shot. And he, he luckily survived from it. At that point, we felt as if it was time to develop this product. Michael Newen says they sourced the material from U.S. Special Forces in Iraq. It's made from carbon nanotubes, which dissipate the force of the bullet when it hits, essentially capturing the slug. They say this material is thinner, more flexible, and 50% lighter than Kevlar. Believed to be the first of its kind made in Canada, there is international competition out there. I, Barack Hussein Obama, do solemnly swear. U.S. President Barack Obama reportedly wore a bulletproof suit for his first inauguration. At Miguel Caballero, all the employees are conscious that the products are so well built that they have tried them themselves. Known as the Armani of bulletproof clothing, Colombian designer Miguel Caballero has built an entire business around the concept, running the gamut from polo shirts to kids' backpacks. You can see the bulletproof suit protected there and there. For now, Nguyen is sticking with men's suits, including vests, targeting the discerning gentleman who wants to look good and feel safe while doing business. When you hits the the target, they yeah. actually eat pancakes. Like Maxwell Morgan, who travels to emerging markets in Africa and South America for his e-commerce business. Sometimes there's some civil unrest, so I'm always concerned about my security from the hotel to somewhere else. Being a passerby or a visitor, definitely I can be in harm's way. But the suit will set you back a few bucks, starting at $20,000 to be exact. Its creator pointing out you can't put a price on your life. Christina Stevens, Global News, Ajax, Ontario.